Camper Fantastic, who are going to be fitting what's inside this box for us. What's on inside the this? Van. What's inside this box? It is a bike rack. Whoa! It's the T6 bike rack. And it comes in the biggest box imaginable, but I think we'll keep the box and use it as a bar in our house. It's actually something that'll work quite well. Let's get it open then and have a yeah, look. Let's have a look. I know there's a T5 one, quite a few people like the look of them, but this is so much sturdier, I think, having looked at the two. So we've gone for the T6 one. It's already made up. Look at that. At least you don't have to build it. Yeah. <laughs> and Ryan from Camp Fantastic has very kindly said that he's going to fit it onto the van, so he's going to talk us through what he's doing as well, just to have a quick look at that. But uh, yeah, it's exciting. Let's go and fit it on the van, shall yeah. we? So when you open the box, the bars that attach to the bikes on the top come like this and you need to take them off first so that you can turn them around. I don't think I'm doing this right. And we've just been pointing out oh, yeah. as well, oh, if I can get this key out, there we go. So keep an eye on what the key number is, or am I just giving it away? Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on what the key number is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what our key number is, but <laughs> if you um, if you lose the key and you know what the key number is, then VW will send you out some spares. That's why I'm not telling you what our key number is, so you can't see all our bikes. Ah, <laughs> oh, so that's it turned around there. So you just loosened it up so that you can actually turn it around and then refit it to the bar. Did you get on all right with yours, Sean? Well, I would say uh, did just because I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> the other way around. No, that is the right way, yeah. Is that the right way? Uh, do we do it the other way around? Is that I don't think it matters. No, yours is the wrong way around. Yeah, that's right. Sean. Oh, <laughs> Laying the side down. Amateurs. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals, yeah. This is why we're getting Ryan to fit ours for us. <laughs> this bit here connects spikes three and four because there isn't a bar long enough to go up to four. So this just connects the two. So you can just put that in the boot of your car. We've got an instruction manual. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which none of us will read. Hopefully you know what you're doing by now. <laughs> uh, your key for your for the attaching it to the van. Oh yes. Um, so it does actually give yeah, the PW do actually give you the tool to That's to good. Fit it, yeah. Which is good. Quite a contraption though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the stickers to protect your tape. Ah, paint now this is clever. I didn't know about this, but you get stickers to basically protect the actual van so that it's not going to damage the paintwork. We don't want to do that. No, we don't want to do that. And you also get four keys. Don't show so them the number. They'll never know. They'll <laughs> never know. So you get four keys just to uh, lock your bikes to the actual bike Excellent. rack. We'll just um, have a look. And uh, it really looks heavy than it is. But, um, <laughs> a quick workout. Yeah, if you uh, if you have a camper van, you need to come down here, come down to Camp Fantastic because just look in their warehouse. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a real <laughs> treasure trove of real tre things. treasure we're, trove. Can't we're going to be doing a um, another video later on uh, in a month or two's time, having a real good look at what Camp Fantastic is all about. And they've got another nine bands coming as well, so we're yeah. gonna have a real good look at all the different ones. And that includes Marco Polo's as well as VW California's, yeah. so this is exciting. They've got a pretty awesome range of colors coming. So if you wanna hire a, a <laughs> uh, California or Marco Polo, these are the guys to, uh, yeah. to uh, visit. So yeah, head on down.
see how well Sean can actually park. Look at all the Californias! Oh, don't scratch them, Sean. So we've just had a quick look in the instructions. There's instructions for a bike rack, can you believe it? <laughs> but it uh, shows you which way the stickers go. You don't want to get them wrong, um, which protect the paintwork. So we're going to fit them now. I might put it there or, or, or stuff on it on there and you can see where it goes. So, so I take it goes all the way from there. Oops, sorry. I'm under pressure. You are. At least that bit I won't be able to see, so it doesn't matter. You've messed it up already. Huh? I know you haven't. No, it's just because it's wet. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's alright actually, because then you can actually feel it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, good work. I've got a bit of a crease there, but the bike rack will cover that. <laughs> Point is, text plate work. Yes, good. exactly. That's good. There we go. Good. That protects it anyway. So we're just um, undoing the securing bolts just so that it's easy to put them on. You got the special tool for got, that as yeah, well. Yeah, you got a special tool for it, so. There we go, that should be enough, I think. Oh, the bolts are quite big, that's okay, so can take them right out. Yeah. Right, so hooks over. Is that one on? Yeah, you're in here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's it. That's it, is it? Right, and then what you do is just open this slightly, and then you can see how this actually fits around the bottom here so you can't steal it without it without opening the tailgate and having this tool so very secure it's looking good it's looking smart interesting fact for you ryan's just told me that that is bent along there so that you can see the vw logo because initially it used to go straight along and used to cover it up and I think someone in the design department is probably a bit annoyed at the fact that it covers up the sea of California. Yeah, it's now an Alifornia. Yeah, so we're going to have to change our name to Alifornia Camping. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks all secure. It's all done up in the bottom here. So like I say, you can't take it off. You can't just undo this. You have to be able to open the tailgate to get into it. And they're all like special sort of hex kind of style, uh, like torque screws, that kind of thing. So yeah, you need the correct part. But this is it, so. I think it's amazing. What you do is you can just pull it down, it clips into place down the bottom there. And you've got loads of space for four bikes, or for mainly what we're going to use it for is storage. So we've got a, a bag that will fit on here, we can fit more storage in. Um, you can move these, which we found out, if you needed to. And you can also move these chocks for the wheels for storage, which is great. But. Um, they all have clips and things, don't they? Yeah. I don't know if you can see on the end here, they've yeah, got these remove these. black things. Oh, I missed it. These black things here. And then underneath there's a little clip that you just lift. Yeah. And then they just pull off and then you can just slide these off. Well, obviously the primary on. purpose for the bike rack is for carrying bikes and it's fantastic because you've got chocks for the wheels, which you just undo these and you can fit through your, through your wheel of your bike tighten that up nice and easy and then these also fit on the uh, frame of your bike and they are lockable so you can lock these it is still advisable um, if you've got bikes on here still wrap a chain round wrap it around the bars or around here or something just to give you that extra protection as well as for bags and things like that if you're going to put yeah. them on the back yeah I wouldn't go put in my camera equipment in, <laughs> on the back here it'd be um yeah you've got to be careful with what you put on but um yeah it looks like a really really solid bit of kit and again it, you can just pop them down you can just lift that back up 
and it clips into place. One thing to mention as well, we have a rear view camera fitted to our um, California and it's hidden under, underneath here. So if you have the same, just be careful that, and the same with parking sensors actually, be careful that it doesn't know about this and you can't see this through the rear view camera. So bear that in mind. <laughs> the way we will get around that is, because it's a tailgate anyway, I'm used to leaving a huge space behind me and it actually has lines on the rear view camera and I, I know that if I don't go any further than the end of those lines, I have plenty of space to open the tailgate. So just watch that. Don't go reversing into a wall or a tree with this <laughs> down and damaging your bikes. But yeah. It looks really it looks, good. It looks really, really smart. Really, really pleased with it. Um, and you can still see our stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> Another thing to mention is these bars here, these arms, they can clip, so you can undo them enough that they actually clip straight back onto the bike rack bit, so they're not hitting against the, the window. And I imagine Bentley wouldn't like that very much if he's being no. attacked by the arms all the time, so... Keeps a bit of space as well for the uh, rear wiper. Yeah, that's true. So that's a good idea. Also a bit more security, it's, not gonna, it's definitely not going to fall down, is it? So. No. Brilliant. Bike rack itself, according to the manual, is 14.6 kilograms. Uh, that means that it can take 60 kilograms of weight on the bike. So that's got to be spread over the four bikes or whatever you're putting on there as well. You need to take into account how heavy it is. Um, something to bear in mind as well is uh, having the bike rack on it takes the van over five meters. So if you're booking a ferry, you need to take that into account to know that it, it has to be the higher price bracket. So yeah, it takes it over the five meters. Um, when you've got bikes actually on the rack or anything for that matter, Bear in mind as well that the height of the van will probably be more than what you've got in, as the van already. So the van is like 2.1 metres. So take into account that with bikes on, it will probably be higher than that. So be careful about where you go with the, the van and the height limits that are there. Um, I think you'll probably be all right with the McDonald's drive through but <laughs> choose that yourself. Um, also to mention is the fact that when you've got bikes on the rack, uh, be careful about um, opening the boot with the pop top up. Well, don't do it with the pop top up, simple as. You'd end up having a very expensive bill um, having to get the pop top changed or the hydraulic system might be messed up as a result of it. Even with the pop top roof down, you might have a problem with the bike handles denting the roof when you lift it up. So I think you can do it, but be really careful about where the handlebars are or just don't do it. Take the bikes off first and then lift up the roof, uh, lift up the boot. But that's entirely down to you but it's something to take into account anyway when you have got the bike rack on so when you're opening the actual um tailgate itself um the struts on the ocean are actually the strongest ones anyway so it will hopefully hold the tailgate that's the same up. same with uh, the beach as well oh, so both californias yeah the, um, they, they're designed to be uprated so that you can fit this right, that's what it's brilliant. for and also you've still got the chairs well we've still got the chairs in the back of this one yeah so yeah this is the proper test so And that stays up. And there yeah. you go. So that stays up nice and easily. Um, Just to prove as well. You've got to be. You um, have the chairs in here too. You've got to be cautious. Obviously, if you do have bikes on it, um, with a with one or two bikes on, it might stay up. But you you got to be careful. Don't assume it will stay up. Um, yeah, you need to I probably think, hold it or get someone to hold it whilst you get stuff out the out the boot. I think when we've got to load Bentley and we've got this loaded, one of us is going to have to stand under here and hold it up. Yeah, that's fine. The stronger um, one, so it'll be me. And also another thing to mention as well is this style of T6 uh, VW bike rack, so this is the latest version, cannot be fitted to um, California's with the electrically operated tailgate. You have to go for the other option, which is the, uh, what some suggest is the better looking one, uh, which is kind of the T5 style, but still fits the T6. So yeah, bear that in mind. If you have an electrically operated tailgate, you can fit this one. So if you do decide to get yourself a uh, bike rack, visit Camp Fantastic, and they've been really generous. They've been generous, generous enough to give us a uh, discount. If you enter this promo code that's now on the screen, because I don't know what it is at the minute, and they'll give you 10% discount, which is fantastic. So yeah enter that code and go and buy one. 
I'd just like to say a really big thank you to Camp Fantastic for letting us come down and, uh, <laughs> and film the process. Um, this is not a paid promotion, I need to tell you that. We have bought this from uh, Camp Fantastic, but they've been very, very kind to let us come down and film. We've loved looking through their treasure trove as yeah. well of all the different goodies they've got for Californias. It's brilliant. And stay tuned for uh, a video in probably a month or two where we'll come back and take a look at their brand new stock of vans that they have coming. They've got nine, is it nine Californias and two Marco Polos you've got coming? That's right. Yeah. It's going to be really exciting. And we'll also take a real good look inside that treasure trove of uh, camper van accessories. So stay tuned for that and we shall see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.